I just got a notification from YouTube congratulating me on 10 years on this platform. 10 years is a long time. The conversations on my social media feeds are about the girls who are ready to face the limiting beliefs and to put fear behind them, even if that thing that scares them the most is the thing that brings them the most joy. And girl, me too. <laughs> I remember being gifted a camera at like 19 to do YouTube. And that was before we knew we could even make money by posting videos online. It was purely out of my desire for self-expression and I still have journal entries and to-do lists from that time and obviously I have shifted and changed so many times since then but the one thing that has remained the same is my desire to create. I would start posting and then stop for whatever reason but this is the year that we are breaking the cycle of playing small and showing up as who we are meant to be. I know I'm not the only one experiencing this because I've talked to so many girls, whether through mentorship or through Instagram or just chatting on TikTok about pushing through their limiting beliefs and finally doing that thing, whatever that thing is that they really want to do, but they just can't seem to bring it to the 3D, to real life. And you're sitting on something for so long that it begins to feel like creative constipation. <laughs> I use that word all the time where I feel like I'm just sitting on something, sitting on something for so long and it just can't come out. You just can't pass it through. There's so much resistance towards that thing. And it's like, you got to stop and address that resistance. So let's chat real quick about some of the reasons why you may be playing small. And I'll talk to you about some of the things I've done over the past year to help me show up as the highest version of myself on a more consistent basis. First things first. Sometimes the fear of committing to something other than your daily bare minimum can be crippling. Life gets tiring, so adding on one more thing that's not absolutely mandatory can sound absolutely nuts. But the thing is, we still show up for family and friends. We push the things that mean the most to us aside because it's not giving us immediate rewards. And I'm not talking about just a business idea. It can be a new hobby. It can be going back to school, it can be anything that you feel like will enrich your life in some way. Sometimes it is easier to just sit on an idea rather than push through the mental blocks needed to bring it to fruition. The perfectionist mindset that if it's not done at the highest level, then it doesn't need to be done at all, is a mindset that was created to keep you stuck instead of taking it in small, consistent bite sizes. One thing about me is I'm not afraid to try something and fail at it. It's the fear of beginning that cripples you. And the last thing that I can think of that may be stopping you from really pushing past playing small in your life is the fear of being seen. One of my favorite quotes is, stop hiding yourself because people need what you have to offer. Even if you think it's so small, it could just be your light. People need that. Last year was rough and I remember feeling so low and just hanging around an old friend. They had no idea how I was feeling and they were just like, I just really needed to be in your energy. It's just so refreshing to be around you, your presence. And I'm like, imagine if I had declined that meeting up with a friend because I just wasn't feeling well or I just wasn't feeling my absolute best. Like, stop hiding yourself. You just never know what someone else needs, right? So getting over that fear of being seen has been tremendous for me this past year. So now I want to talk about some of the things that I have did to identify who my highest self was and start showing up as her consistently. So at the beginning of the year, I wrote myself a letter and it was supposed to be delivered to me on the last day of the year. So, and it was delivered to me and... <laughs> And it wasn't about like tangible things that I wanted to get done. It was just about how I wanted to feel. And I try to stay away from actually making like actual, like I need a new car or I need to do this. I want to feel good. I want to feel these things when I'm in the presence of you. I want to feel this way at my job. I want to feel this way. You know, I want, I go towards feelings. That's, that's something that I can I immediately change. 
So I wrote a letter to myself and I dreamt up this 45 year old version of myself. And I envisioned that she was giving me the game on how to close that gap between where I am now and where she is. She's confident, she's a boss, she has a career that she loves. She has a great group of friends that love her and that she loves dearly. She's elegant and I'm like, wait, but you are and you have all these things right now so what can you do right now to continue to close that gap between her and her is just acknowledge it be grateful for it and live in that i watched a movie earlier this year called everything everywhere all at once i think it's called and it's pretty much about the fact that there's so many different versions of you that exist um there's a movie star version of you there's a housekeeper version of you there's a stay-at-home mom version of you there's so many different versions of you that already exist the only thing that's in the way of that being a reality is your daily decisions and you close that gap one decision at a time so that life that you know you desire or that version of you that you know already exists deserves nurturing and some attention so let's say you wake up and you have this amazing morning routine you say your prayers you do your devotion you drink your green juice you work out whatever your dream morning routine is and you have this amazing day you're listening to music on the ride to work and you're bumping it and you're you're just feeling so good like you've really done the work to match that highest version of yourself that morning then you driving to work and someone cuts you off <laughs> instead of <laughs> instead of cussing them out like you want to you're like nope you're gonna get me you keep going you get to work and your boss says something that pisses you off <laughs> and you're like nope ain't gonna get me i'm still high i'm still going i'm still grooving and then you sit down at your desk and you start to work and by midday you find that your energy levels have dropped maybe because you're not doing what you want to do in life or as a career or maybe you are but sometimes getting into technical work does take focus and takes focus away from you really being in tune with yourself so you realize wow I really feel low now I felt so high this morning I did all that work to dodge things that were that could break me down and now I just feel low I've lost sight of this high vibrational person that I was this morning and I just feel so low what can I do so I started setting timers and I know it sounds extreme, but soon you won't need these extreme measures. Like I started setting timers. So I'll set a timer at 12 o'clock. Then I'll set one again at three o'clock, then at five o'clock, just so I can make sure that every few hours I'm checking in with myself and I am connecting back to who that was this morning or who I believe to be the highest version of myself is. And so if I have to step out to use the bathroom, I'll go to the bathroom and I'll just take a minute to really level myself back down and check back in and make sure that I'm matching my vibration and make sure I'm bringing myself up and reminding myself who I really am and who I really want to be. Um, and doing that throughout the day, eventually you won't need those timers anymore. You won't need those alarms to go off to remind you to check in with yourself because it'll start to maintain itself a little longer and a little longer and a little longer. And that's what I did to tap into the woman that I know I am no matter what chaos is going on around me until it became second nature. I hear so many people say that they have to get back to who they were two, three years ago, and baby, I am not her by any means. Turning 30 will do that to you. Throughout my day, I take a moment and I say, thank you, God, for reminding me that I'm that bitch. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Thank you for being a God of your word and fulfilling all of my heart's desires. Thank you, God, for reminding me to use the characteristics of my higher self. Thank you for the energy I need to do my part and correcting my posture along the way. Your job may change, your relationships may change, through maturity, through growth, your core stays the same. And if you know that you were meant for more, live in that. I was able to build my interior design career with a very tight-knit community that has taken me so far and taken me places that I could never imagine. I thought for so long that because that's what I was known for, that that's all I had to stick to. And that is not true by any means for any industry. There is just so much more to me and I feel like sharing things like this is definitely a part of my purpose here. For the past two years, I had to change how I showed up in my business and 
I had to evaluate how I can best serve my community and how interior design still fits in that process. And I am happy to say that I am still completely enthralled with interior design, the beginning, the middle, the end. Um, but I had to understand that there are so many ways to practice the field that I love. Um, and I think that by attaching myself to the purpose and not one exact path, really brings me the most joy. So I am still excited to now share more interior design content. I'm really encapsulated by the education process of things. I realized that I have to do this on my own terms because I really do feel called to do more. So I guess this is my reintroduction video. Hey girl, hey. My name is Nikki. I am a Brooklyn Caribbean girl. I love to dance. I love to host. I love interior design. I love all things home decor. I love to create. I love to use my hands. I love to make spaces pretty. I am newly rediscovering my fashion sense and my new style. I am recently obsessed with my wellness journey. After a health scare earlier this year, it really puts things in perspective and how you show up. So, so this year I have fallen head over heels with my new chapter and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. So here's to getting out of your own way and here's to rediscovering yourself as many times as you need to so subscribe to my little slice of the internet